That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give him the gold glove right now. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes it. Broadcasting from Seattle, Washington, where the roof has been shut atop Safeco Field. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the New York Mets and the Seattle Mariners. It's Mariners baseball, and it comes your way next. Felix Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He'll be the first to greet Felix Hernandez to start the inning. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try again, one, two. Ball two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one, two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Cruz moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Yeah, you know, I love what the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. He's slugging over 600 coming into play. That's a lot of extra base hits, a lot of home runs, a lot of doubles, and a lot of balls in the gap. That doesn't come easy, and he has really impressed a lot of people so far this year. At the plate, as Dribble Cabrera and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dyson is there, two gone. Batting third. The left fielder number 50. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two and one now to Cespedes. Grounded to third. 
Seeger fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they're set down one, two, three by King Felix in the first. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Noah Syndergaard gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's almost at that 200 strikeout plateau. I mean, that is really big stuff. And we may see him reach that milestone today. So that really is what I'm focusing on in this game. Here's Gerard Dyson. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two though. That one missed but if it's a strike I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. And now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one. Danny any thoughts. Well you better keep an eye on Robinson Cano as this game moves along. He's got over a thousand RBIs. He's already proved he's a clutch hitter. He knows how to drive in big runs when it counts. So if the situation comes up in this game I'm looking to watch how he goes to work in the clutch. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Conforto is after it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting third. Here's Nelson Cruz right now. Fielder. First shot for him Nelson here as he comes Cruz. in, currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah man I mean this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in the series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to get one win in this place as they get ready to get out of here. Well he fouls off that fastball right there and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back. With and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Mariners come up empty first time around. We played an inning in Seattle. No score. Stepping up to the plate Michael Conforto he was among the many who failed to report a base hit in the loss yesterday. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Payoff pitch one more time. Hits this one hard the other way. Seeger has it. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. All right, here's how the M's line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And yes, they are moving all over the field. They love to ship heavily into the analytics and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Here's Jay Bruce now. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he comes back with a fastball one and two now. Well that was unexpected. You're looking for that sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He's forcing you to look somewhere else. There is Seeger. Throw on the first to get him scored at five three on the put out though it looked more like a six to three ground ball. Nevertheless there are two away now. Granderson. It is Curtis Granderson. In yesterday's game he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club. And he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. That's a ball. Just a bit low ball three. Ball, Wilmer Flores would be next. 
Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Check by Hernandez. The pitch takes a look at one catching the outside corner. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Hit sharply toward the right side. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. Granderson is on his way home. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job in. there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates Rivera. up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second. And his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Rene Rivera. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's not thinking, what do I have to do, put a bow on it? Walk Juan it down and put it in the Lagares. catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. We're in the second, 1 0 Mets early on. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 1 0 Mets. Here's Robbie Cano now. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Here's the one and one pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, you're at a cesspit. This guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. Seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Digging in, Kyle Seeger. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Well, he watched his average drop below 280. You can look at it two ways. If you're hitting 280, that's a, still a compliment for a lot of guys, but he's that good a hitter you expect him to hit high. Digging in, Danny Valencia. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. The 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. We could see the runner in motion here. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto racing back. He gets there, and that's the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting seven. Here's Leonis Martin. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Hit on the ground to short. Backhanded. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Seattle. They trail this one one to nothing. A sight to be seen. The great Pike Place Market here in Seattle. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes 0 for 1 here in the early going. That's lifted the other way out to left. Valencia is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first out. So with one away time for a check of the standings in the American League West as you find where the Mariners find themselves entering play today. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Something has to give here's the payoff pitch. Cano with it at second. On to first and Cabrera is a ground out victim two away. The left fielder number 52. Yoenis Cespedes. Here's the left fielder Yoenis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Grounded to short scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So a strong inning there for Felix Hernandez. His club trails 1-0. Stepping in, Dan Vogelback. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken there by Cabrera. And a rather easy first out. So one away in the inning now and before we get too much further let's take a look at where the Mets find themselves in the race for the National League East. Here's the catcher Carlos Ruiz hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. The one and two pitch. In the dirt but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Ruiz is retired two down now. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So striding in Gerard Dyson first time up he went down looking. Looking to drop one down but he can't make contact one and two. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto has a read on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Mariners are down in order. They still trail one nothing. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. First baseman number 19. Stepping in and ready Jay for another shot. Bruce. Jay Bruce comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
checked by Hernandez. The pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Valencia looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move center up. Fielder number three. Here's the center Curtis fielder, Curtis Granderson. Granderson. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Skied into straightaway right. Cruz has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour that man is flat dealing. He's set here's the three one and oh that should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two. close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Oh man I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. Now he just missed Patrick. and now the inning continues Rene with the man Rivera. in scoring position. Striding in once again Rene Rivera two men on two away here in the fourth. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Here's the 2 1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Two left for the Mets, but they lead it one to nothing. So stepping in, Gene Segura. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 and 2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets oh, absolutely right jammed. Thought we were going to no see the bat splinter, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Here's Nelson Cruz now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Softly to the right side. Should get the runner to third. To his left, Flores. A quick out number one. Stepping in, Robinson Cano. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Couldn't wait back a swing and a miss. Now that's a big swing. That's what the big fella's supposed to do. Look to go downtown. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this pitch. Cespedes has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that'll square things at one to one. A great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Seeger. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. The slider up into the 90s there. It's one and two. 
ready to deliver the one and two. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Here's Juan Ligares. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well, he falls behind 3 1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. A high fastball is in there. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but. This offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, third baseman. Ready once again, Jose, Jose Reyes. Reyes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind 1 and 2. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Well, for a switch hitter to take the pitch and hit it the other way, whether it's a fastball, change up, or curveball, that is a lot of work and dedication from both sides of the plate. Into the box as Drupal Cabrera. 0 oh, 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command 1 and 2. The 1 2 pitch from Felix sent out to straightaway center field. Dyson's there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, Joanna Cespedes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Have a nice flight home, Once again, a 3-2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Cano fields it cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Ready for another chance. Danny Valencia. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often so because bad, yeah. he's over yeah, in the yeah, other yeah, league yeah. and it's really showing. Right he's pitching Mark really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Stepping in now, Leonis Martin. And he puts it on the ground to second, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well, that should make him smile a little bit. He's having a rough season, but that right there, he'll take that base hit together. any day. First baseman, Dan Vogelbach. Oh, 
Now in the box, Dan Vogelback. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 2-2 two two count. Here's the pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Hey, keep an eye out here, Matt, because that guy on first base, 3-2 count, he can run. He might be on the move here. Ground ball to second. This could be two. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And this is fouled at the plate. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Mets move out to a 2-1 lead. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Standing in now, Jay Bruce. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Three. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it okay. fair. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded at three and two. Another one sent foul. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate the all match. year long, and second this at bat is no different. Wilmer he's probably surprised Morris. it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound, and that will be all we see this afternoon of the Cy Young Award winner, Felix Hernandez. So he'll depart after five and a third now innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. New pitcher coming on now as they'll hand it off to Casey Fien here. Get that out. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores. 
And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Another one two delivery. Good plate discipline to lay two, off the two. slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Whoa, he hit that Catcher. one a little bit too hard. Winning. Line drive Rivera. single, but the runner at second had to hold up. So he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander's up to throw. Into the box, Rene Rivera. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Ready with two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Got to think it's going to be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases loaded. Three and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout? Are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone. But if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. He's on the move again from first. Swing and a missed strike three. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. So he can't okay. make contact the there on strike three. But meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Riding in once again, Juan Ligaris. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Two runs, six hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. Grounded back up the middle. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Well, that's called smelling the base hit right there. He beats out an infield single. Not everybody hustles out of the box, but he darn sure knew he better, and he did. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runners on first and third, two away. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Falling for it, Vogelback makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. 9-1-2 and two, scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets three and the Mariners one. Here's the catcher Carlos Ruiz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes 0-2. And, and this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning man this guy's on his game today not only when he's throwing strikes but how about the amount of strikeouts what's even more impressive no walks up to this point so he's pounding that zone with strikes and he's making these hitters swing the bat standing in now Gerard Dyson 
And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number two, shortstop. Gene Segura standing Gene. in. He doubled Shot earlier down. in the game, one for two to this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. There's a change up over the outside corner. Look, Matt, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hitting team. And now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order. But you can limit the damage by getting those first two outs. I think he's limited the damage so far this inning. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. Boy, that fastball in right there really makes him conscious of the inside pitch and starts cheating. Now you set up to throw something away if you elect to do that. Mm, he's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Score holds, it's three to one. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Your Steve Ciszek is on now to pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 31, Steve Ciszek. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One one home to Cabrera. Oh and a look what I found out there on the mound and he'll flip on to first to record the out. The left fielder number 52 digging in once again. Joanna Cespedes. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1 one, one. down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Go, the 1-2 one, well, offering looked like a slider that two time, ball. but it's 2-2. Two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Come on, Mariners. Another try at 2-2. Squared that one up just a little late. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Set to deal on two and two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort. And I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Michael Conforto will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. And here's a slider that runs inside that time and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. There's Cano throw in time and the side is retired. 
Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Mets three and the Mariners one. Digging in to try it again. Nelson Cruz. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And he'll just lay this one in there three and one snuck that high hard one by him without a swing but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap Conforto going back on it but he can't get it as it's off the wall he's around second now and they still haven't gotten to this thing and he is in at third base and the Mariners are off and running a leadoff triple well it took him till the seventh but he gets his first hit of the game here and that'll extend his hitting streak yeah seventh inning you're thinking maybe one more at bat if his team rallies so this was a big hit to keep that streak alive. Here comes the second baseman Robinson Cano he hit a sack fly earlier. in the Mets bullpen now it's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up struck him out and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up he hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far in this one and there was another good fastball for a strike out there in now Kyle Seeger there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two and he struck him out the tenth victim set down on strikes thus far that strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning he was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out and he got it now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Men on third with two down. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Mariners leave one, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Here's Jay Bruce now. The numbers head-to-head -head with Steve Ciszek. One for six. And the pitch on two and one. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson one for two with a double on his line thus far eighth inning of this low scoring affair three to one our score two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Chopped weakly to the right. Vogelback is there, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance.
called yep. strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Two out nobody on. Lays off two and two now. Pitch on the way. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Takes this the other way to right, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, as the lead remains three to one. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jerry Blevins. Digging in and looking for more, Leonis Martin in his career versus this pitcher, 0 for 5. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the payoff pitch. Heading out towards shallow right, Conforto has a read on it, one out. Up next for Seattle. Coming to the plate now, Dan Vogelbach. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Smoke toward third. Right there is Reyes. On to first, and there are two down. Now batting, catcher, Carlos. Ready for another Ruiz. chance? Carlos Ruiz. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Ready with the 3 1. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit sharply toward the right side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. They still trail it here 3 to 1. Evan Scribner. Enters from the now pen to start the ninth Mariners. inning as he'll try to Number keep the score right where it is Everett. heading to the bottom of the ninth. Rittner. Now at the plate, Rene Rivera, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Now another one two. In the air now out to right field. Cruz has a beat on it. He's got it one away. How about it? Designated Ready Aaron. once again. Juan, Juan Ligaris. Ligaris. He's working on a one for three thus far. Well, now the Mariners get some action in the bullpen as a left-hander's begun to get loose. Ready with the one and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This is line to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. He's got to feel him. good about himself. A multi-hit game. Oh, he knows Ryan. he's been struggling. We know he's been struggling. Maybe this is the start of good things to come. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And oh look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Never fun to see a pitch come up and in but obviously not being a fastball he didn't mean anything by it. He's set. Here's the 2 2 line toward right center. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. Another hit another multi hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Cabrera.
Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. Dribbled to the right side. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. Catch is made near the line. Here comes the runner from third. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Mets four, and the Mariners one. Jerry Spamilia is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Jerry Spamilia. Here's Gerard Dyson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores is there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Just hung in there on that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground to third. Two is left. Reyes throw on to first, and the Mariners are now down to their final out. The right fielder, number Here's Nelson Cruz now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. Noah Syndergaard wins a league-high 16th decision. Picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save. His 30th. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive. Base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A-Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. Here's the 0-2. Swung on.